home. Someone's got a lot of fancy new lab equipment. I know. The university's been throwing money at my study. With any luck, there'll be a brain disease with my name on it. Fingers crossed. Which is ironic, because if you had Fowler's palsy, you wouldn't be able to cross your fingers. I'm surprised Sheldon's not up here playing with all your new toys. Actually, I haven't told him about it. We've been getting so much more funding than physics, he's been a little sensitive. So you're just gonna hide your success from him? I know. Am I terrible? No, I do that too. <laughs> How he thought my company retreat was in Boise? It was in Tahiti. <laughs> That's such a relief. I mean, part of me was worried I was being unfair to Sheldon. Take that part of yourself and hide it away. Just like I did with last year's bonus check that I didn't get. Started with a big bang. Hey! You know, you're a successful woman. You should be able to brag about your accomplishments once in a while. Well, so should you. I mean, the guys are never shy about bragging. Tell me about it. How he texts me every time his dog levels up in Warcraft. <laughs> Has he ever called you to tell you he found three peanuts in one shell? Because Sheldon has. We should be able to do that, too. I guess we can brag to each other. It's a great idea. Damn right it is. I came up with it. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> you know, there's so much money in pharmaceuticals, we don't even wash out our test tubes. We just throw them out and get new ones. <laughs> I just got a brand new state-of-the-art fMRI machine. Oh, those things are so expensive. I know. Sometimes I just lie down in there and take a nap. <laughs> it's like a million-dollar bunk bed. At the office, I have two assistants. I don't even know their names. I just call them Thing One and Thing Two. That's great. I, I don't have assistants. I guess that's one of the benefits of being in the private sector. That and all the money I make. Yeah, you've got that. I've got my integrity. Hard to say which is better without making you feel bad. <laughs> I may not make as much money as you, but at least I know that I'm actually doing something that makes people's lives better. Hey, my work makes people's lives better. Especially if you have moderate to severe eczema and don't mind if you lose teeth. <laughs> You're right. We both do important work. I'm trying to map the structures of the brain, and you're trying to convince people that itchy hair is a real thing. It is a real thing. It happens to be a side effect of our cholesterol drug. <laughs> I'm just saying that my research may actually change the world forever. I hope it does, because I'm going to see that world from a yacht so big you can land a helicopter on it. <laughs>